Can you see this? All right, so there were some questions on the oil pressure switch and how it relates to the um, activation of the fuel pump. So what I've done, uh, previously I've shown this in a, in a form that it coming directly from the starter, but the way this pressure switch works is it's just a uh, switch basically. So the um, running voltage would normally connect between your two prongs here and here, but those are disconnected until you have pressure. So what happens is momentary um, voltage would go through when your switch is in position two for starting, it comes over to the starting sol solenoid and um, this is just a big relay and the starting solenoid would by activation of this um, conductor here or this prong on the solenoid it allows current to flow over through the the starter a lot of current but it also during the momentary will allow current to flow across those two prongs and so the momentary here comes through this wire and this prong and as it gets that voltage that's on and then when pressure comes this one will activate the way that's done is it's just pressure here it's just a switch I'm not electrical engineer but so when you have no pressure and that's your momentary and that's 12 volts momentary and this is 12 volts constant your pressure before pressure it looks like this where the switch is on momentary and then once you have pressure for a split second it's actually an open circuit and then the pressure um, goes over to the constant volts and so that's running when your ignition is on this position on number one where it's one click over so what I did was I was curious the, these pressure switches are different some of them have diodes in them um, I've seen it on the internet where there's a bunch of electronics in them but this Carter a68301 is purely mechanical and all that is is pressure here I can't really see it I should have got a, a pressure source a compressor but it just goes in the end so when oil comes up and pressurizes this it moves this diaphragm and then that in turn will move this copper washer from its momentary position and it'll push it down and it'll move it to its uh, constant running position so you're literally just moving this copper washer from one contact to the next and again for that means for a split second it's actually um, it turns the pump off for a split second so that's that's how that works there's no way that current can come back through the circuit these won't be connected at the same time they'll actually be a, a, an open circuit and um, and then very shortly and then go over to the constant so just again the final setup I have is I have two switch positions one is the running that goes over to the side that's 180 degrees from the um, the uh, I guess the the fuel pump and then the starting position goes to the one that's 90 degrees as shown here it actually has an S for start and this one has an I for ignition so and then the one over here for the pump is labeled P so it's pretty straightforward so this has just been turned down with a lathe have done nothing to that just when it finally got to a position where it cleared the shell it popped open 
and so a very clean opening. So that's how it works. I put a 7.5 amp fuse in here and I have complete confidence that that is robust enough to handle a significant duty cycle. Could be wrong. There's others that have a, a um, relay in here, but um, I don't know. This is, this is kind of just like a relay too, to some degree. Well, not really, but um, it's just a switch. So that's that on the circuit using a pressure switch from oil to activate an electric fuel pump.